Okay guys, very quickly, now that we've looked at introduction, location, shape and extent of the breast, in this class, I'm going to focus on the relations of the breast. So, when we say relations of the breast, what do we refer to? First, I want you to know that relations of the breast are those structures that share anatomical relationship with the breast. So, there are structures that share anatomical relationship with the breast. So, anytime you hear relation, relations, more like relationship, somebody that you are close to or your blood, are you getting it now? That means you people have something in common that you share. That's why they say this guy is my relation or this lady is my relation. The same thing, relations of the breast are structures that share anatomical relationship with the breast. And what are those structures that share anatomical relationship with the breast? Take note of this very fast. That from, we are going to look at them from superficial to deep. Superficial means from top to deep to bottom. So what are those structures? They include the following. How many are they? There are just five of them in number. Number one of those relations is called the retromammary space. Number two is called the pectoral fascia. Number three is called the pectorialis major. Number four is the external oblique. And number five is the serratus anterior. Now, they are very simple. How do I remember them, sir, from superficial to deep? What if I decide to call pectoral fascia first, then I now call external obliqueness, then I now call the serratus anteriorness? They play, just they play. You must list them accordingly from superficial to deep. The retromammary space, the pectoral fascia, the pectorialis major, the external oblique, and the serratus anterior. There is an acronym for them. It is called ROIP, PES. Rest in peace, PES. So, where's your rest in peace, PES? Yeah. The RI there is the retromammary space. The P here, the first P, is the pectoral fascia. The next is the pectoralis major the external oblique and the serratus anterior. This is the acronym you must always remember for the relations of the breast. Now, let me show this to you very fast. You can see from this diagram here, of course, this is the retromammary space, right? So, if that is the retromammary space, where is the pectoral fascia? You can see very fast that this is the pectoral fascia and then the third one here, this is the pectoralis major. Let me dwell on this three first. So, which one is the retromammary space? You can see from the diagram, retromammary space is like a fat, fibro fatty tissue, more like your fat is what you have in the retromammary space. So, before you move in between the retromammary space and the pectoralis major in the diagram, you can see what you have there is called the pectoral fascia. So, what separates the retromammary space from the pectoralis major is the pectoral fascia. It's not called pectoralis fascia, no. It's called the pectoral fascia. Why pectoralis major is a muscle, external oblique is a muscle, serratus anterior is a muscle. So there are three muscles there, one fascia and one space. Are you getting it now? Well, yeah, let's go guys. Let me show them to you one after the other. Let's begin with the first, which is the retromammary space. Of course, you can see this clearly that this is the retromammary space. So, what is the retromammary space? What is expected of me to note in anatomy in your retromammary space? The breast is separated from the pectoral fascia by the retromammary space. That's the first thing. So, what separate breast from the pectoral fascia? It is called the retromammary space. Another thing is that retromammary space is filled with loose areola tissue loose areola tissue when we say areola tissues what are we referring to they are nothing but your fibro fatty tissues they are made up of your fats majorly another thing is this hence the breast can move upwards downwards sideways over the pectoral fascia for example as a lady shake what your mama gave to you shake what your mama gave to you shake what your mama gave to you and you are shaking it you are bouncing it up and down sideways now what is making the breast not to be stiff what is allowing it to move up and down as well as sideways it is the retromammary space are you getting it now and don't forget that retromammary space is filled with loose areola tissues or your fibro fatty tissues another thing you must know very quickly now is called the pectoral fascia when we say pectoral fascia now this is it very fast this year is your pectoral fascia when we say pectoral fascia what is the pectoral fascia take note of this very fast that pectoral fascia is the deep fascia covering the anterior aspect of the pectorialis major so what covers the pectorialis major is called the pectoral fascia 
the fascia that covers the p major of course we have p major we have p minor right as muscles in the pectoral regions so what covers the pectorialis major is the pectoral fascia another thing i want you to do very fast is your pes muscles when we say pes muscles i said the muscles are three so what are the three muscles don't forget that the three muscles are number one your pectorialis major your external oblique and the serratus anterior so the form what i call the pes muscles are you getting it now of course you can see the first year is called the pectorialis major the second is called the serratus anterior and the third is called the external what oblique the theory of them are the muscles that form the relations of the breast and five things that form the relations of the breast retromammary space your pectoral fascia your pectorialis major your external oblique and serratus anterior from superficial to the deep this brings us to the end of everything about our relations of the breast in our next class we will be focusing another lovely part of your breast enjoy yourself guys bye bye